good news for New Yorkers is that, with the small exception of healthcare, infrastructure, social safety nets, paid family leave, criminal justice, rock and roll, silly hats, bread, cheese, football chants, life expectancy, singing competitions, and a medium-sized grouping of other things, America does absolutely everything else better than Europe. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to find out why the European siren is better. So the video is called Why the European Siren is Scientifically Proven to be Better by Half as Interesting. I've definitely done some reactions to this channel before. Uh, they, they, they got good videos. But anyways, sirens. They definitely sound different in different places. You know, you hear movies or you hear sirens on like movies and stuff from England and Europe. And they sound 100% different than the ones that we have here. And of course, you know, everything develops differently and independently so you know it's not like they, they took one and was like oh we're going to take that and change it they just probably just both developed independent sirens for different reasons or whatever but we're going to find out why it's scientifically proven to be better i don't know how that is but science you know <laughs> can't argue with science right i don't know we'll see this video was made possible by Hover. Get 10% off your custom domain or email address by going to hover.com slash H-A-I. There you go. If you've ever been in New York City, you've probably heard this sound. <coughs> or wait, sorry, wrong one. I meant to play this. In uh, that's the same siren that we have everywhere. It's not specific to New York City. Just so you know, I've never been in New York City, but the, the police around here have the same siren. New York City, the wailing siren is part of the symphony of the streets. It's an icon of the city. But like many of New York's icons, Times Square, the subway system, and Rudy Giuliani, it sucks. But it <laughs> doesn't have to. This is a European siren. If you've ever been to Europe, and especially anywhere near Birmingham, you'll recognize this sound, which is called the high-low siren, immediately. New York and other places in America are reportedly considering switching to the European siren, and this video really? is my manifesto as to why they should. Because while all sirens are unpleasant, and interrupt and make me doom scroll Twitter for 30 seconds while recording audio, European <laughs> sirens can be scientifically proven to suck less than New York and the rest of America's sirens. To understand why, you first have to understand a bit about sound waves. Okay. This is a sound wave. You can call him Wavy, although technically his full name is Waverton B. Dorado here to the cool ranch fortune, but we'll stick with Wavy for now. This part of Wavy, his height, which you can call amplitude if you want to be fancy about it, determines how loud he is, which is measured in decibels. Both the New York and the European siren hit the same decibel level, 118, which by the way is more than the human ear should hear because our ears start taking on damage at about 80, the sirens will exceed it because, I mean, it's an ambulance. They don't have time to worry about your health or safety. So the New York and oh, European wow. sirens- I didn't know it was bad for your hearing. Okay, so we can- Safely listen to stuff up to 80 decibels. Interesting. Are equally as loud, but the difference comes here in their frequency, which we usually call pitch, mainly because Frequency Perfect 3 is a terrible movie title. We traditionally measure pitch in hertz in honor of the world's third most mediocre car rental company, and the higher a frequency, the higher the pitch and hertz level. Here, I'll show you. As Wavy's frequency increases, you'll hear the pitch go up. And this is the key difference between the New York siren and the European siren. The New York whale siren is traditionally between 600 and 1200 hertz, Jeez. while the European high-low siren moves between 450 and 600 hertz. So it's less, I mean, it's still not safe for your ears. It's still well above the 80 decibel threshold for sure. Or 80 hertz, was it 80 hertz or 80 decibels now? second guessing myself but regardless that's a lower number and lower numbers are better right because the higher numbers more more frequency more vibrations more damage in your eardrum or whatever meaning the european siren's highest pitch is only half the highest pitch of the new york siren that's what makes it so much better people generally perceive high pitched sounds to be piercing and unpleasant yeah. think of a baby crying or a mosquito buzzing or ariana grande singing so because <laughs> the european siren is lower most people find it less annoying in addition by alternating clearly yeah. and distinctly between the 600 hertz pitch and the lower 450 hertz pitch the siren offers listeners a clear respite 
flight from the siren's highest pitch, while the New York siren's pitch change is continuous, so you never feel like you get a break. Now, you probably have three questions. Okay, I could see that, because it's... So, in between... It, I guess it would be more... Like... Falsely more satisfying to your ears, even though there's definitely still damage being done, but... Yeah. First, if I rage comment something on this, will it boost the video's algorithmic performance? Second, are all people who eat cereal inherently evil? And third, considering it's less annoying, is the European siren less effective? Well, the answers are yes, yes, and no. It turns out that European sirens are actually- Yes, yeah. Okay, so he said yes to the cereal thing. I disagree. <laughs> but yeah, so no, it's not less effective to the siren, right? Or the siren's not less effective, is what he's trying to say. Actually more effective than New York sirens, mainly because lower frequency pitches move further than higher frequency pitches. Uh, I guess that explains why I never get responses to my daily pitch emails to Netflix for a reality show about a towel factory. But to understand why lower frequency pitches move further, you first need to know that sound waves have to move through a medium. Yeah. Given that the Long Island medium is normally busy with her TV show, sound most frequently has to travel through air. As sound waves travel, they're vibrating the particles in the air to transfer the sound, or energy, and because low frequency waves are, you know, less frequent, they transfer less energy to the air particles than high frequency waves, thus running out of energy less quickly, and thus moving further. Huh. This principle extends to sirens, according to a study conducted in 2013 by a group of scientists who were definitely totally not wasting their engineering PhDs by studying the wee-woo machines. They found that a 40 year the wee moo machines. World with average hearing could detect the New York whale siren at a maximum of 249 feet or 76 meters, and a 60 year old could detect it at 125 feet or 38 meters. Okay. For the European two tone siren, those numbers were nearly doubled. The 40 year old could detect it at 508 feet or 155 meters, and the 60 year old at 206 feet or 63 meters. So, in the end, when it comes to sirens, it turns out that the European way is just better than the New York way. Science. However, the good news for New Yorkers is that, with the small exception of healthcare, infrastructure, social safety nets, paid family leave, criminal justice, rock and roll, silly hats, bread, cheese, football chants, life expectancy, singing competitions, and a medium sized grouping of other things, America does absolutely everything else better than Europe. That's great. If you wanted to convince New York to change its terrible sirens, you might want to start a campaign to convince the city council, and the best place to start would be a website. Maybe something like StopTheSirens or IWillStopPayingMyTaxes.com, or MakeItQuiet or WeWillRiot.com. <laughs> the perfect place to buy that domain would be Hover.com. Of course, the sponsor pitch. So that's pretty much the end of the video. The rest of us is a sponsor deal. Go check out his link for that. The links to the original video that I reacted to will be in the description section down below. Let me know about how you think about the sirens. Have you heard them both in real life? What's your preferences? Have a super fun, awesome day. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.